that I did on my channel before I just went live now. So if you want to see that, hop back there and you can see my live stream of me getting this face on and me ranting about this beautiful taupe bronze blue brown iridescent duochrome it's not iridescent it's like a duochrome reflective eyeshadow from Colourpop I literally ran about it the whole video and it's so long because I love this so much I'm obsessed with this I've had it for a week and I'm hit pan like come on now anyway the topic of this video is um I made a Build-A-Bear um this is the first time I'd ever like gone to Build-A-Bear and built a bear I'd walked into the shop before especially when I was a kid I'd like always wanted to do a Build-A-Bear my sister and I always wanted to do um Build-A-Bears together but when we were kids like we'd ask our parents they'd be like no and so we never did it so for my sister's birthday this year it was her 21st and we fulfilled her childhood dream it was more her dream than mine but like I'm in on this with her. Um, I took us to Build a Bear and I got us each a Build a Bear. And we had that experience together and it was so much fun. It was really cute. And I wanted to share with you guys today the bear that I made. So, this is the bear that I chose. Her name is Poet. Um, like, oh no, Paulette. Like, Paul, like, Paulette. That's a little barcode. I haven't chopped it off her ear yet. Um, but, She's a little builder bear from the builder bear workshop and she's made with love um it was lots of fun to do the whole experience with my sister um like we like did the whole thing where you like rub the heart it was really cute and fun and i will have it up soon on my channel as a vlog um but yeah um i chose the rabbit because i felt like obviously i'm bored in the year of the rabbit also her hair matches my hair right now i changed my hair after i got her but i didn't plan that Oh, we're kind of twinning. Um, I'm born in the year of the rabbit. I feel like rabbits are really beautiful. I also felt like um, she looks a little bit like the Velveteen Rabbit. If you've seen, not seen, if you've read that book, that was like a really special book to me growing up. I thought that was like a really beautiful book. I like cried over it. So yeah, she gave me Velveteen Rabbit vibes. Um, and I really like how she was pink and brown. She kind of is like just such a girly girl. She's just a girly girl. I love her tones. She's kind of like this light um light light brown color she's very very soft she has a cute little like um embroidered nose she has like hard plastic eyes and her eyes are like like brown eyes with like black in the center of course and then she's a cute little white bunny tail um what else she has long ears because she's like a bunny but my like sister's version of this bear she ended up getting the classic like traditional teddy bear and he's kind of like more of like he's not as soft as this he's kind of more of like a ruched not ruched, but like, I don't know. He's a more like a traditional looking teddy material. And then she has a little builder bear paw there. She's really cute. She's all like pink and brown. And of course we got our bears some outfits. Um, I was going to get her a cheerleader outfit because obviously I love cheer everything and cheer is my life. So I was gonna like get her a cheer outfit, but they didn't have a pink one there. And so I didn't want to get her just like any cheer outfit. I wanted to get the pink one. And so I thought, it's all right, they have an aerial outfit in store so I thought that together we could dress her up in this aerial outfit so they had a couple of Disney princesses um outfits in store that you could choose from obviously I chose the aerial one for obvious reasons because I am a little mermaid stan and so I felt like she would look cute in this and she could always get a little cheer outfit later so let's dress her up here is what the little mermaid outfit looks like comes with a little flower that I'm going to put on her ear that's going to be so cute it's like iridescent, but it's a purple flower. It's translucent with a um, golden green iridescent layer over the top. No, not iridescent. Yeah, it kind of is her iridescent. It's like a duochrome kind of vibe. It has a um, purple gem in the center. The actual top is like a little um, boob tube style top. Um, and it's got this like holographic little dots all over like a plush um, faux shell base. that's like purple and like holographic layers um and there's one two three four five so it's kind of like shoo, like splays out the side and then her little tail is so cute um it's all sequined and then on the top and the bottom there's tool to make the like fins um and the tool is like again a uh, like green light green tool with like the same iridescence to match the hair flower and i think it looks really cute together it like ties in nicely and it has a little builder bear like bear logo on it um, and they both velcro in the back, both the top and the bottom. The little flower, I reckon I'm just going to tie this onto her ear as though it's like a hair tie. Okay, let's do this. Um, which side should the flower go on? I feel like this side would be pretty. The right side? Yeah. 
I'm not going to take her tag off right now. I don't know why, but I like, kind of want to leave her tag on her ear for just a little longer. Um, I've honestly had this since my sister's birthday. Like, we did this together on her actual birthday. So that was, like, the 13th of July. It's been a while, but I, um... I just like haven't gotten around to filming a video about it and I wanted to like dress her up with you guys so she's just been sitting at the bottom of my bed naked naked I think even just with the flower in her hair she looks really cute I really love the way this bear looks she's such like a she's a Pinterest girl yeah anyway let's get the top and the skirt on I love that it came on like a little builder bear like coat hanger as well it's so cute if you're wondering what my sister dressed hers up in, um, we got her the birthday girl t-shirt for her bear because she was the birthday girl, obviously. Oh, something I forgot to say about this um, little mermaid top. Oh, thanks, Thurs. Thurs has brought me her bear. I don't know why we've kept the tags on everything. Um, it's because they're new, but like this is the, is it called the Timeless Teddy? Yeah, and then um, that's what the time, oh, it probably says on this as well. Yeah, it's called the Timeless Teddy. Um, see how this is like kind of, more difficult to material to describe. But yeah, it's got a cute brown nose. She wanted to get a more like classic traditional looking bear. Um, and I think this one definitely does look more classic traditional. And then she got the birthday princess shirt because she was a birthday princess. It's got a crown on it. It's like a dazzle that says it here. And then it's got a <coughs> builder bear logo on the side. Sorry. That's all right with some puffed sleeves. Um, and I reckon what you should do, Thursa, is you know the crown you wore on your 21st? It says 21. I put it on her normal. Yeah, she Actually, wears a crown. Tim has it. Tim borrowed it for his 21st? He didn't That's borrow right. it. I put it on his head. Oh. <coughs> anyway, that's all for her. She's really cute. And I feel like this top is something you would have worn when you were a kid, eh? Absolutely. I just feel like this is something you would have worn. And, like, eight-year-old you would have worn this. Actually, no. Like, let's let's wind it back. We're probably very young choosing these outfits. So, like, you would have been, like, four or six. And at, like, six or eight, I would have chosen this. We'd still choose this to this day, honestly. We chose this recently I but, mean like yeah it was like a month ago but like if um I like to think that like these are the exact same things as our child selves would have chosen as well anyway have a good sleep um I'm just gonna put a little top on now and do the velcro at the back oh she's gonna be so cute I feel like this mermaid outfit as much as it's cute it's not very Pinterest girl um but I don't mind oh it stays up so nicely Oh my gosh, I'm surprised that they, like, got it to stay up so well. Okay, let's put her skirt on now. It's kind of like an open skirt. It's not like a closed tail. It's just like a tube and she just sits in it. Um, don't ask me the price of all these things. I can't remember. But also, I'm in Australia, so you're probably... I'm guessing you're in the US. Honestly, look at the website in your country and there'll be different prices and there'll be different stock and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to say, like, oh, it was XYZ... Australian dollars, because I don't know what that even is translated into US dollars. I don't know what you have in your country, or if you guys have the same thing. I don't know. But Builder Bear has a website. You'll be all right. Okay, I'm going to tuck her little fluffy bunny tail in. Oh, I didn't even notice it has a cute Disney okay. princess tag. How the fuck did you get it? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Emily, can I get heater? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, careful not to I'm flash to on my, um, flash on my live stream, because I'm live right you're now. you're live? I'm live. Hey, besties. I'm going to try not to flash. I hope you didn't. I didn't. I definitely didn't. Um, okay. Oh my god, stress, Emily. Stress. Wait, I'm trying to fit her feet into the tail. I feel like I'm shoving. Okay. Actually, that looks fine. Here she is in her tail. She's so cute. Oh, she's got a tag sticking out. Same girl, same. There she is. She looks kind of odd because I've just shoved her in. Is this the right way to wear the tail? I don't know. I pulled it up really high so that her actual tail would stick out the little gap underneath the um, Velcro because the Velcro ends there and there's like a little portion where it connects to the back where it's not filled in with Velcro. So I thought maybe I should stick her tail out there. Oops. I don't know if that was the right way to do it. It looked cute though. Um, I also wanted to show you this is what the tag looks like on the back. It says Disney Princess. Because she's a Disney Princess. Oh, this is just like the label inside. Oh, it's cute though. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. The sequins are like a pretty, like, not neutral sequin, but they're a, uh, it's a pretty flat sequin, if that makes sense. Like, they're not like a green blue sequin or like a, 
a green gold zinc. They're just like straight green. They don't have any like special things going on with them. I do feel like the one thing I do dislike about this outfit actually is that the um, the tool feels like it could fray. I'll show you a close up later um, to show you what I mean. But I just feel like the tool isn't like like it's not finished to a point that it's like very long lasting. See, wait, let me zoom you in like this. See the way the tool is like kind of a jagged edge here? Yeah, you can see. It just seems like this tool could fray if it was worn down in future. Now, I'm sure that I'm wearing this wrong. I mean, I'm sure that my bear is wearing this wrong, but you get the vibes. Okay, she's a mermaid. She's a girly girl. She's a Pinterest girly. She's into that coquette aesthetic. Um, when she's not wearing this, like, this is a very vibrant outfit. When she's not wearing it, though, she's very, like, classy. Anyway, let me show you. I did get her some other accessories because the stuff at Builder Bay was, like, kind of expensive and not not all of it resonated with me. Obviously, it's for a different target demographic. But I did, like, remember that they had, um, oh, it's kind of ripped. Um, but this is the Disney Illy Forever doll line. So it looks like this. This is what the dolls look like. Um... So they have all these dolls and they're kind of like, um, I think they're 18 inch dolls or 16 inch. They're 18 inch dolls. <clears throat> so these are some 18 inch dolls that Disney's come out with recently. And each of the dolls is Disney bounding as a different Disney character. So obviously here we've got, um, inspired by Tinkerbell, inspired by Mickey Mouse. I mean, Minnie Mouse, sorry. This one's inspired by Ariel. This one's inspired by, I don't know, by Cinderella. And this one's inspired by Elsa. Um, and then there are different fashion packs and stuff that are inspired by different princesses. Like there's a Tiana fashion pack. Um, there's a bunch of Frozen stuff because everybody loves Frozen. Um, I'm an Ariel girly, but unfortunately the doll that comes wearing the Ariel outfit, I don't know, she just doesn't really resonate with me. I honestly, out of all the dolls, um, even though I'm probably like the Asian one, obviously, the one that's wearing the Inspired by Tinkerbell stuff, I honestly resonate the most with the Inspired by Minnie Mouse girl. She's like... I don't know, maybe she's supposed to be... Ooh, actually, the one that's inspired by Cinderella is actually... The one that's inspired by Cinderella is my fave. I lied. She, I think, is supposed to be like... I'm, I'm giving them random ethnicities. I feel like she's Hispanic, she's Asian, she's from, like... Um, ooh, like, she's... She's Swedish, actually. Yeah. Um, and then she is, like, um, Southeast Asian or something instead. And then, um, ooh, where's Elsa from? She's just a, Elsa, the Elsa girl, she's just an all-American babe. Um, yeah. Can you imagine her in New York in winter in her little Elsa outfit? That's what I'm, that's where she lives. Anyway, um, let's get into it. So this is a, a that was like really a tangent, but I pretty much saw that they had Illy Forever Disney bounding accessory packs. Um, and I felt like it could vibe with this bear. I know that she's not a doll, but I feel like she can use some of these accessories. And I just really like these accessories, but I didn't want to like get into like getting onto the dolls because the doll that I, the dolls that I like aren't wearing the outfits that I like. Like I like that, um, Cinderella doll and I kind of like that Minnie Mouse girly, but I don't like Cinderella and Minnie Mouse. I'm not against them. They're just not Ariel and I just want only the Ariel stuff. Um, and the Inspired by Ariel outfit, it's okay, but it doesn't really speak to me. I've never really been an 18 inch doll person. I don't have any 18 inch dolls. It just, it's not my, it's not my genre. As you can tell behind me, I only have one larger doll. Um, actually I also have my Bratz babies, but that's kind of a whole different can of worms. But yeah, my only larger doll, it's like a toddlery style doll, um, is my Animators Edition Ariel. And I think she's 16 inches. So I got the Ariel fashion pack. Um, it says, inspired by Ariel, styled for you. That's what it says. And so this is what it looks like. And there's also a little card in here, which I'll show you guys. Oh, it's like a little catalog. I love when dolls and stuff come with this. It's like you could, when you're a kid, you like shop via this catalog and you're like, mm, I really hope that for Christmas I get XYZ. Oh, this is cute. So these are all the different dolls you can get. These are all the different accessory packs. See, this is the other Ariel accessory pack. And it's just, it just doesn't speak to me as much. I'd really do like the concept though. And if I was a kid, I'd probably like be like, yes, 
Um, but I'm a little bit more um, picky with the things that I bring into my life now. And, like, if I'm going to bring in dolls or, like, um, you know, things like this for fun, um, I must, like, really be obsessed with them. So, yeah, this is the other accessory packs. And I got this one. It's the um, Inspired by Ariel accessory pack. They also have deluxe fashion packs down there, which are really cute also. And then on the back, they have, like, the Inspired by Rapunzel deluxe accessory kit. And there's, like, also a car. I like that the kit is like so deluxe. These are like fun. Um, yeah, that's a little pamphlet of everything they've come out with so far. This was a set that I got on clearance. Not clearance, but like major clearance or sale. Major sale or maybe it was clearance. I don't know. Oh, I like the backdrop. That you can't really see. It's got little seashells all over it. That is going to be a good backdrop for me taking photos of my dolls. In that yes oh my gosh that's a beautiful backdrop for a mermaid doll keeping that um anyway here's the things the accessories they're actually cooler than i thought already oh yes these are stunning i, I was kind of like oh yeah this is cool but do i really need this for my builder bear like is this really gonna be that fun are my other dolls gonna be able to use it because i was thinking like these can be shared around some of my larger dolls up there um but i was like a little hesitant um but now that I'm seeing it in person, I'm like, absolutely, yes. Out of all the fashion packs, this is the one that spoke to me the most. The dolls, I don't know, they are really pretty dolls. I'm not against the dolls at all. I feel like I sound like I'm, like, anti the dolls. I think the dolls are very pretty. Um, I just prefer an all-hard um, plastic doll. And those dolls have, like, a, you know how, like, a lot of those 18-inch dolls have, have, like, kind of soft, kind of hard bodies where they have, like, a mix of different... Um, mediums to make the doll. I like just a plastic, hard plastic doll the whole way. Um, and that's also something that I like about the animator's Ariel up there, is that she's fully hard plastic. Okay, I'm going to take things out in no particular order. Some of these things are going to fit my Build-A-Bear Paulette. I keep getting her name wrong. Some of them will fit her, some of them won't. These are some sunglasses. If they don't fit her, like, it's fine. They can just be, like, accessories that she holds. Oops. Well, they're not going to fit on her ears, but Maybe she can wear them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's vibes. She's ready for the beach. This is like a beach accessory kit. Like, all of these things are going to go in the beach bag and be, like, fun for them to, like, take to the beach. This definitely won't fit her, but I still want to talk about it. These are, like, some sandals, and I feel like these might fit maybe one of the Bratz babies. They're really heavy. Like, these are, like, weighted. Um, these are really sturdy, heavy plastic. I'm not sure what kind of plastic this is. Um, maybe it's, like rubber like they feel like heavy like an actual flip-flop like heavier than that um these are just white molded um sandals with two straps painted pink and then on the side of each sandal there is a little um light blue seashell so cute and then on the bottom of the sandal this was a detail that i didn't expect they have a molded design on the bottom of the sandal can you see that it's little seashells all over the bottom of the sandal which is a really interesting touch. I'm surprised that they did that, and I think that's really cute. If I was a kid, I would take this to the beach and make little footprints in the sand and, like, see the little design in the sand. That's, like, I know exactly what young Emily would have done. When I saw this and I was, like, bummed earlier, it was because I've accidentally, like, broken Ariel's arm, so I can't keep that as a cutout. Or if I do, it's a cutout that I've kind of damaged, which is kind of annoying because that was a, a cute picture of Ariel. Although, what was I going to do with it anyway? No, I don't need a little picture of Ariel. I'm just a stand, that's all. Okay, I'm just going to use this little blade. When you use a blade to cut things, be very careful because you don't want to cut yourself or your new toys or your new makeup or whatever you're buying. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this packaging. It's not like it's packed extremely, like, like intricately or anything. I'm just I'm just struggling out here. Okay, where's the lid so I don't like lose the lid and cut myself later? Nice. I'm a big fan of those little blades. You've got to be careful with them, but like they are very like it's very intuitive to use them. Oh, they have zip ties in it. That's why I was struggling. Okay. Let's just pull everything out and then I'll talk about it one by one. Because I don't want to struggle with this packaging anymore. I'm over it. Okay, we're done. Recycling. So, let's start off with the big ticket item. This is heavy and weighted. I really feel like this would work in well with, like, 
an American Girl um, collection because the American Girl stuff, it seems just very decent and weighty and like quality. Um, and this is like, this is surprisingly weighty. It has a little logo on the bottom. It's not gonna come up on camera. Yes, it is. It says Illy Forever. Disney Jack Specific. I didn't know this was a Jack Specific line. The more you know. Anyway, it's just smooth on the bottom. And then it's got this like little um, hibiscus-y kind of design. I think it's a hibiscus. I think they're going for a hibiscus on the top. And then it just has a little mermaid silhouette in the middle. And then it has this little hand tie there or foot tie. I don't know, man. I don't surf. Um, it's not elastic. It's not stretchy. Um, and that's where you can surf. So if she wants to go surfing, she can surf on this. I think that's cute. And like will look cute together. Like the size wise, it's a good size. Um, then there are two small little accessories that are going to go in the bag that I'll show you in a second. Um, this first one is like a little mini sunscreen. You can't take the lids off. Like they're like just stuck together. Um, it's a glued on piece and they're two pieces of plastic that are molded stuck together. The first one, um, is this like little sunscreen with the design painted onto it. Um, so it has a purple detail on the top and then a blue lid. And then this one, unfortunately, is just a sticker over with the design. So this is just a white water bottle with a blue lid. It's kind of meant to make like a like metal water bottle or whatever. But this design on the front is really pretty with a little silhouette of Ariel and some flowers. But that's actually just a sticker that's stuck on top. So don't love that. I wish it was painted on because I would be worried that that would peel off. Whereas this is like actually painted on. It's going to stay like that. But I do think that these are two really cute pieces. And I'll show you in comparison with um, the Builder Bear. But like these are meant for an 18 inch doll. And work well with an 18 inch doll scale. Cute. Anyway, um, here is the bag that I was mentioning. It's got a piece of cardboard in it just to keep it sturdy. And then it has just like the Illy Forever tag in there. I'm just going to leave the cardboard in because I do like that it gives it shape. Um, I really think this bag is so cute. It says Sea Beauty. I didn't know that it had words on it. I didn't read it properly. Um, but um, yes, it does say Sea Beauty. It's got some really cute flowers. I like the colours they chose with the pink, the blue, and the purple. I like those colours. And then there's a little silhouette of Ariel. These two silhouettes, wait, this silhouette and this silhouette of Ariel. So the swimming one and then the sitting one are my two favourite silhouettes of Ariel. I just think they're both so iconic. Um, and I think they both look really good. This is a really decent piece. It's got the plastic um, circular handles. Um, it's a really, like, realistic-looking beach bag. You know, they didn't overly pinkify it. It's a realistic, like, natural colour. Um, and this little bag is kind of, like, a little woven material. And it's really, like, you can put a lot in there. So I'm going to now put the sunscreen in there. I'm going to put the water bottle in there, of course. The sunglasses in there as well. The sunglasses are, like, really nice. I like those. So yeah, all of that's now back. There are two more things that came in this, which are even better than I expected, honestly. They're just cardboard, but they're so cute. <gasps> There's even print. On oh my gosh, these are so cute. So there are two little magazines slash catalogs slash books, whatever, <coughs> for your doll, or in my case, my teddy, to read at the beach. Here they are for scale. They're a nice size. They're quite decent, about the size of the palm of my hand. Um, I've always liked the size of accessories for 18 inch dolls, but since I don't have any 18 inch dolls, I, like I don't have any purpose for them, but I love watching on YouTube other people like have 18 inch doll accessories because they're just larger than like a typical Barbie accessory. Barbie accessories like teeny tiny, whereas like this is like, it's like a little thing. It's like a mini version without being too mini. It's so fun. Anyway, so this one is the Wishes magazine. It's got a picture of Ariel on the front. Um, she looks pretty stylized. Um, like, she is, like, different to her typical animation style, but she looks really cute. And she's being a little heart like this. She's a cutie. She's cute. Um, and, yeah. And then on the back, it says, Ariel, always be a mermaid in a different art style again. And here she's wearing her um, pink dress, recolored to be green. I don't like that they recolor it green. I understand it, like, vibes more that she's a mermaid. But, like, the pink dress was the pink dress. I, I'm here to stand for Ariel's pink dress, but anyway, we're not going to get into that. I think this is a nice sketch style artwork. Um, maybe it's like a like comic style or just like sketch style. I just think it looks good. And then inside, this is what surprised me. You can actually open it up and there's like more stuff on the inside. So it says fashion, it says match the shadow, and then it says being Ariel. I'm not going to read it all out, but um, yeah, it's just a like a little... Um, 
When a mermaid turns 15, she is permitted to swim to the surface for the first time to catch a glimpse of the world above. Like, it's a little bit about, like, Ariel's life and, like, their world and stuff. This is so cute. Like, the fact that they have little mini activities for your, like, doll to do and, like, it's just a beautiful little, I don't know, this really has, like, I didn't expect them to have, like, stuff on the inside because obviously I bought this for, like, for these things. And the fact that this, they put in that extra detail, like, it's really cute. This is the other magazine. It's the Mermaid Life magazine, Under the Sea edition. Um, so it's got a picture of Ariel and then she's signed it down there with Ariel. Um, on the back it says, Wind and Sea Perfume. Oh, Ariel's in a perfume ad. Cute, love that for her. And then on the inside it says, Independent, Free-Spirited, Curious. Who says that my dreams have to stay dreams Ariel and it's like signed and then on the other side it says sea life find your inner mermaid oh my gosh this is really cute so on this side that's the like animation of Ariel there on this side it's like a different style and I've seen these products before well some of them aren't real but like I feel like this is like an animation like this is a picture that they've used previously and like sold that on other merch and it's advertised here as a compact this is a set of brushes that kind of look like I want to say the Spectrum Cosmetics collab that they did. Is that right? Is that this? Is that a mini picture of their Spectrum Cosmetics collab? Anyway, over here they have this really cute... I don't know if it's going to come up on camera because it's like... We're really like zooming in here. But there's like a, a little mermaid mascara. I would wear that mascara. That looks so cute. And then, yeah, it's just... Oh, you can see it better here. How cute is that? And then that's what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like. I'll show you the other one now that we're zoomed in and it's like focusing. How cute! I'm really into these. Um, so yeah, that little Illy Forever set was actually... I'm more into that than I even thought I would be. I'm going to put all of that into her beach bag now. So that my little... Obviously, my Builder Bear is an aerial stan. Who isn't in this bedroom, right? Am I right? All the dolls were like, yeah, we're aerial stans, I guess. <coughs> I really need to go grab a drink now. I've been, like, talking for ages. I've been talking for 27 minutes about my Builder Bear and one... Aerial fashion pack and one aerial accessory pack. Like, that's where it's at. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna take her out of this now because I'm gonna like, I want her to be in her like natural, I hope I'm saying this word right, her natural coquette state. She's just a coquette Pinterest girly. She's so pretty. This is like a really beautiful teddy. I'm really into it. Like, the color scheme's so gorgeous. I'm so glad that I was able to, like, do this with my sister. Like, I really enjoyed, like, taking her there. She had so much fun. It was such, like, a novelty thing to do together. Um, the inside of the ears are, like, really soft velvety. So I was like, oh, she's like the velveteen rabbit. Um, I don't want to keep calling her Paulette. I don't feel like it's the best name for her. Um, and I want to give her a different name. So if you have name suggestions, let me know. But it has to be something sweet. Like, on the lines of, like, Bella or Rose, you know, a pretty name. Um... So if you have pretty name suggestions, let me know. Unless, if I say no to your name suggestions, it's probably because I've already thought of one myself. Um, I like how the bottom of her feet are pink. And they match her ears. in that same velvety soft material. She's so soft and so cute. And we, wa we watched her get stuffed. It was such a fun experience. Um, anyway, I'm stoked about all my aerial stuff. I'm going to have fun playing with it. Um, and my Bratz dolls up there are going to share it. My, ba my big Bratz babies. Okay, this is a really long video now. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a Build-A-Bear, let me know your Build-A-Bear experience in the comments down below. I really like, this is getting really random. I really like the size of Build-A-Bears. Like they're, they're a really like, decent size. And if I was a kid, this would be a really large bear. Like these are, like, these are good. I'm really into it. Um, I thought that I would just be doing it like for fun for like my sister's birthday. But then afterwards we were like, we love our Build-A-Bears actually. She went and bought hers um, an extra pair of ovals from the toddler section from the baby section at um, Kmart and it was fun. Anyway, if you like this video, you know what to do. You can give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Um, you can like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Something I always forget to tell you guys is you can actually join my channel. So what you can do, oh, hands, no hands, just balancing on my knee. Um, what you can do is you can click join down below. Um, there's a little button that says join me, subscribe. Um, and you can become a member of my channel. You can pay as much or as little as you'd like per month and you can see um, extra content. So I upload extra content for members only. Um, so if you are interested in even more um, content, you can do that. And um, it's more just a way that you can support me if you would like to. I'll always be making content here as per usual. It's just like if you'd like to support me extra, you can do that. 
Um, otherwise, you can find me everywhere at Emily Titch 20 I really do appreciate you watching for all this time. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night or a good day. Bye.